And it's time right now for a real estate update for the Sioux Falls area. And we have Brent Baker joining us from Keller Williams and Clients First Group. How are you, sir? I am terrific today. I'm excited to have you in here. We're going to chat about all kinds of fun stuff today. But we'll we'll start about the, the subject line here says, be fiduciary, not functionary. So fiduciary, let's explain what that means, because that's a pretty fancy word right there. <laughs> big words. We're starting off with big words. Big words. So... You know, we've all gone into a store looking for some guidance. Yeah. And sometimes you get that person who literally must have fogged the mirror, but really <laughs> doesn't know what they have as far as a product or, yeah. you know, things like that. And so that's true in all walks of life. I don't care if you're going to the corner store, buying a car, yeah, or buying a house. Or buying radio advertising. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's another subject. You can blame me if you want. <laughs> Um, you know, some people think that realtors just open doors. Yeah. And, and there are those who literally that's their job, but it's also in their description. And some realtors try to cover the whole basis, but don't have a lot of depth. Yeah. And so that's what we're trying to get, you know, in this time of turmoil in the real estate world is explaining the difference between a functionary, a person who just goes through motions versus the fiduciary yeah. who's working for you and digging into the items, issues, whatever you want to call them, truly working on your behalf as a realtor, earning that compensation. Absolutely. And that's something that matters a lot because you're when you're making a purchase, especially a purchase of that size, you want to make sure that you do a good job and you get the right home and at the right price and you know, all of those things that matter, and that matters a lot. You just don't want somebody opening a door going, what do you think of this one? Well, that's exactly it. And I don't recall the statistics, but it's interesting when you see the statistics come out about how much time people will spend on planning a vacation yeah. versus buying a house or, or other large things. It seems like the the things that we would think – would take less time that you would invest less time in, that's where they tend to spend their time. Some people probably spend more time picking out a movie to watch on Friday night. Well, I remember <laughs> going to the video store, yes. And, and that... even now, clicking through, there was one night we were going to watch a movie, and we spent the whole night watching trailers, and we didn't even watch a movie. <laughs> By the time we figured out what we were going to watch, we're like, you know what? I don't think we have time for a movie now. No, no it's bedtime now. <laughs> but this is something that when you're purchasing a home, you want to take the time. You want to make sure you ask all the right questions and have somebody on the other end of that, the, the realtor that you're working with, that can, if they can't answer the question, know where to go to find the answer to that question. Correct. You know, to be the source of the source. Yeah. You know, go to one person and, um, you know, sometimes it's, where do I go to learn about this? And so um, just last week, got a call. Somebody was having, you know, they have an older home. So in older homes, you're obviously going to have certain issues. You know, yeah. trees are mature, tree roots get into the septic lines, um, other things that just come up. And so my past client called me and said, I'm having a little trouble with this, but what about this and what about this? Yeah. And I was able to send this person in the right direction. In fact, I made some phone calls myself just to yeah. make sure, given the scenario, we got her in the right direction so she's not wasting her time and getting frustrated. Yeah, exactly. And uh, along the way, that means I learned too. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So when, when you're looking at the difference between uh, being fiduciary or functionary, which is what we had started this conversation, there's a difference between the two, isn't there? A lot of difference. Um, you know, a functionary is just, the relationship is really shallow. They haven't mm -hmm. spent the time to get to know you because not everybody has the same needs in housing. You may have a picture in your mind of what that looks like, yeah, but... Sometimes it's hard for people to convey that. Yeah. And some people are great communicators, others are not. So a good agent is going to get deep into it. They're going to ask questions, and it's not so that we can find out about your dirty laundry. We're not, yeah. We don't care. What we care about is that we don't waste your time and hours looking for properties that don't suit you. Exactly. And you're getting frustrated. The agent's getting frustrated. So... We want to get to know you. What are your needs today and tomorrow? Yeah. Um, 
you'd be shocked how many buyers get focused on today, yeah. forgetting that the kids will grow up, yeah. they will go off to school, yeah. and so forth. So the point of the relationship is as much to be your partner in this yeah. and walk you through. Um, a functionary doesn't take a lot of responsibility, where a fiduciary is going to take on a lot of responsibility, sourcing information, getting you in the right direction, um, and sometimes digging into things that are a little unpleasant. Um, yeah. Functionary, um, they can produce reports, they can find you information, but what does that information mean? Yeah. What, when you know, I send out a report to my sellers and say, okay, this is how many you know, clicks we've had behind the scenes, but are they repeated clicks from the yeah. same party or are they, is it 332 different people that looked at your house online or mm. is it actually just 32? But they all looked 10 double times. Yeah. Right. And then what's the market telling us? What's the direction? What's the trend right now? Yeah. And of course, there's far more that goes into that, but we help you understand the information. Absolutely. And we are going to finish this conversation next week. If somebody would like to reach out to you and talk to you about maybe buying a home or selling a home, what is the best way for them to get in touch with you, Brent? 605-310-0297 or Brent Baker at KW. Dot com. Again, Brent Baker with Clients First Group and Keller Williams in Sioux Falls. And if you're catching the tail end of this and you would like to learn more, we save this program as a podcast as well. And you can find that at SiouxFallsPodcast.com.